Good morning everybody and greetings from Venice. People generally wonder uh, how hard it could be for uh, a uh, passenger with reduced mobility to visit the city. Well, because of its uh, medieval <laughs> um, uh, layout, you could say that moving around Venice with a wheelchair is actually a bit tricky. But with a bit of planning, there are certain areas that are uh, absolutely uh, easy to access uh, also for a wheelchair user. For example, here we are close close to Piazzale Roma, the car terminal, you can see that uh, unlike most of town, there are fewer steps, uh, lower ones, which make it easier for a wheelchair to reach this area, for example, where we are right now, where you also get the chance to board a gondola. In front of us, you see, in fact, the pier for Gondolas for All, which has been specifically designed to allow also a wheelchair to board our traditional boats. This is their office. What's more, uh, slowly but steadily uh, bridges in town uh, at least uh, uh, you could say certain ones are being equipped with ramps uh, that allow also people with reduced mobility to cross the waterways they may entail taking detours around the city so the visit may not be as quick as for uh, um, regular visitors but you could say that uh, in the end uh, it is possible to enjoy Venice also with your own wheelchair. <laughs> There are more than 420 bridges all over Venice and out of these only 30 or so have been equipped with ramps allowing strollers or wheelchairs to cross them uh, easily. As you can see the other bridges usually entail climbing a lot of steps which may become of course difficult if you have a stroller or a wheelchair in tow. Thankfully, the local administration has developed wheelchair-friendly itineraries that you can find both on the local transportation's website and also on the um, site Accessible Venice. For all other needs, you may rely on special water taxis equipped with a leaf and you may also enjoy a gondola ride by boarding from the piers of gondolas for all that you can find just off of Piazzale Roma's character. In case you have a wheelchair or any mobility issue, know that you can easily rely on Venice Vaporetto, the water buses, to travel around. Generally speaking, and as you can see in case of the sign here on my left, you, boarding procedures are made easier by using what is normally the ramp for people disembarking from the water bus. You just have to ring the bell and the staff will come to open up and escort you aboard. You may want to give it a shot asking for help also in case you have a stroller which can however generally uh, board through the regular accesses. In uh, uh, Venice uh, water bus stops that correspond to the main sightseeing areas may have uh, divided uh, turnstiles depending on whether you are a local or a visitor. Workers, students uh, and residents uh, in town uh, get a sort of priority access and this means that they will have to use uh, turnstiles which are marked the sea with a sort of red wall or red signs on the door. Travelers instead, or generally speaking, uh, people that do not uh, reside in Venice uh, are uh, kind of requested to use the other turnstiles which are instead generally marked with a black sign so please when you have to scan your ticket make sure that you are in front of the right access because the regular um, touristic ticket won't open the doors for the priorities for the residents but it will open those for the um, visitors in the town